and welcome to GT Live, where it is the same day as uh, me recording. There is no game wrong dimension w warped tour. I feel like it's something of a Crash Bandicoot subtitle, but also I, I don't know. By the way, did Crash the new Crash Bandicoot game come out? I'm asking you because you're literally the only person in the room, and you're not even in this room. You'll probably see this like three days after I'm done recording it, but I, I'm asking you to let me know in the comments, did the new Crash Bandicoot game come out? Because I love Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, I didn't love the first two. I thought, like, okay, to be fair, I've, I found them a bit frustrated and a bit overhyped. They were fun platformers, though they were satisfying to play, and I will say that time and reboots have done them really well, and so I'm excited to play the new one when it comes out, which I think it came out, but I have seen nothing about it anywhere. So let me know. Let me know if this new Crash Bandicoot game is out, because I would like to play it for my own sanity, for my own enjoyment, I guess. Um, and yes, uh, because this is still me doing this during the same Ollie nap time, I have not gotten a chance to watch that movie I was hoping to watch. I'll let you know what it is if and when I get to watch it. I was able to write a couple emails while I offloaded the footage from the first time, from the first video of these that I recorded. That's what I did in the 10, 15 minutes or so that those were offloading. So yay, emails and fun time. Oh, I gave video notes. I gave a couple video notes too, uh, so the editors could keep working. So that is what I do when I'm off camera. I give a bunch of notes, write a bunch of emails, and I save the scripts for when I'm slowly losing my mind at three in the morning, which is probably apparent based on the type of stuff that we talk about. Um, so here's a weird one. I don't know anything about this game, uh, but it's one that Matt recommended. It is called Mind Cop. He said it is a 2D platformer with mystery puzzle elements and a fun tongue-in-cheek sense of humor, which honestly feels like it should be the trifecta or quadrifecta at this point. Quad? Four? Three things? How many, how many things? Platformer, side-scroller, mystery, sense of humor. Quadrifecta, right? Like, if you were to boil down all the best games that we played on this live stream and the stuff that, like, most resonates with both us and with you guys, like, Stanley Parables of the World, uh, There Is No Game, I think is a really good example of it. Uh, Impossible Quiz is a really good one, where there's, like, an intellectual component to it. Oh, don't press the button. Intellectual component to it. Uh, where there's a tongue-in-cheek sense of humor, meta, five, pentafecta, pentafecta, hepta, heptafecta would be seven, pentafecta. But yeah, ironic sense of humor, meta-ness, smart intellectual stuff, <laughs> platformer side-scroller, retro, no, no, it's, it's, it's a hot mess. Anyway, Mind Cop. I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad, I do know it's a demo, I do know it's supposed to take me about 30 minutes, and based on Ollie's sleep schedule, that's about the time that I got. So let's play a game, shall we? Mind Cop Demo. Okay, here it is. It looks interesting. Master volume, 80%, music volume, input mode, automatic, full screen, great, great. Speech mode, typewriter. We'll use a typewriter sound. Colorblind mode, okay, great. Start. Thank you for trying my demo. You're welcome. Keep in mind that the game is still in development and everything. Everything here is subject to change. So fast forward a year from now when we play Mind Cop and it's like a dating sim or something. I appreciate a game that thanks me for playing it though, that's cool. You can play this game with your gamepad, uh, mouse keyboard, mouse only, left mouse button to continue with mouse only, or mouse and keyboard, X if you want to play gamepad. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, wacky, all right. He's an idiot, I say. Only an idiot would have taken the red pill. Don't you think? Yes. <laughs> Linda, you got might need a haircut. You'll regret it in the next one, you'll see. Yes. Get off social media, Linda. When I'm having nothing a drink, interesting on the like Instagram. a really good drink, and I realize that I'm drinking, I don't go, "Oh, what a bummer." This is only a dream after all. So I better wake up, wake up and do something real. No, I stay in that dream as long as oh, I can wild. and have a great time. Do all and do all sorts of. How much longer till we're there? Mm, ten minutes. What? We're in the middle of nowhere. You're telling me there's a town. Here. In the mountains. 
Not really a town. So here's the question. Only is that his top lip? Think. Or is that a mustache? Ah, great. That's what I want to know. Kind of looks like a mustache, but also could be just his top lip. 15 minutes later near the crime scene. Weird! Okay! Maybe I was wrong about the platformer side of things. Please wait for us here, Justine. Just want to meet with the officer at the crime scene, and then head for the police station in town and call it a day. Where do you want me to park the car, boss? Mindmobile! What? Can we please call it the Mindmobile? You'd have to pay me extra for that. Just leave it right here. I'd be surprised if anyone cared. Press and hold the left mouse button to walk around. When the button is pressed, the mind cop. He, he is the mind cop. We'll walk towards the mouse cursor and stop when the button is released. Alternatively, you can use left and right arrow keys. Okay, I'll, I will alternately use left and right arrow keys. Anything else? No, okay. So this is my partner, wife? She is very tall. Crime scene's the other direction, okay, great. I know, I just wanted to test you. <laughs> That's great. Click on doors to enter buildings, okay. Entering the building will cost you time. Time cost of entering is shown by the clock icon. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. So you gotta solve things in time. Okay, here's the crime scene. How much time is it gonna take? It's gonna take 15 minutes to enter a door? Man, mine cop, you might wanna be a little bit faster on the trigger there, buddy. Whoa, it took 45 minutes! It went, my time in the bottom left corner went from 2 to 1.15. Jeez. Anyone here? Maybe I shouldn't have gone to that crime scene, huh? Hello, you're the mind cop. I've heard many tales about you. So, I'm Officer Bartley. Welcome to Maryland Crater Camp. Linda, what color is his voice? It's blue. 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 It represents calmness and responsibility. Excellent traits for a police officer. Could I get your full name, please? Um, sure. Kenneth Bartley. Greetings, Officer Kenneth Bartley. I am the Mind Cop. And this is my assistant, Linda. Partner. I'm looking forward to working with you on the case. So what is this place? Mary what camp? Maryland Crater Camp. It's a tourist attraction centered on a big old rock thingy. Most people come here for hiking, but... I guess some come for the rock. We're pretty far off here. An hour away from the nearest town. During the season, the people who work here straight up live here. Basically a tiny settlement. Is the body upstairs? I'd like to take a look. Yes, she's... Yeah, yes, upstairs. Huh. So, she... what color... So, Mind Cop is colorblind, apparently? And what color is his language or what color is this is he speaking that's interesting so linda can see that sort of thing how long is it going to take me to climb the stairs apparently no time at all i'm just really fast oh wild oh no well here we go Press right mouse button to enter inspection mode. In this mode, objects in your site can be investigated, uh, or the objects in your site that can be investigated will light up. You can move the vision cone up and down with the mouse. When an object lights up, press mouse button to inspect it. To leave inspection mode, simply press right mouse button again, okay? Inspection costs time. Check the clock icon to see how much time the inspection will take. Hmm. So again, I don't know how long it's going to take. Last time it, it had like a 15 minute mark, but it, oh, I wonder if the white stuff is actually how long. Okay, so that took like 11 minutes. Weird. Hmm, let's see. She looks pretty young, maybe in her late 20s. Multiple stab wounds on her stomach. I'd say at least three stab wounds, maybe more. There's too much blood. She definitely bled out if the stabs didn't kill her first. Doesn't look like we'll waste a lot of time searching for the murder weapon. The knife is a rather big chef's knife. There's no brand name on it, probably one of the cheap ones. Hmm. It was a frontal attack, so she definitely saw her attacker. However, 
There are no visible indicators of any kind of fight. No bruises, no broken fingernails. She even has pretty long fake nails, and they appear to be completely intact. If she did scratch the guy, there's a very high chance that we'll find his DNA under these. Well, there won't be any autopsy report for at least two days. Science boys always take their time with these kinds of things. Yeah, those science boys always taking a lot of time to do their job correctly, you know. Oh, wow, we can analyze the blood pattern and stuff. Oh, this is wild. The floor is wet. Oh, with blood, presumably. Doesn't really smell like anything. Ooh, we got a note. A post-it note. It reads, minus three lamps for Judy and Michael. Oh, three lamps for Judy. It's a list. Three lamps for Judy and Michael. Oh, that's it. What else we got? Her computer. It's a desktop PC. I can remove the hard drive and let someone search it later. It'll surely take a while to remove it and I don't have to do it right now. Okay. Should I remove it? 15 minutes. No. This can wait. Okay. Based on what you were saying, it made me see it seem like I should wait, huh? Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, so this jar is turned over, so it might be the liquid. A bunch of empty glass jars, nothing exciting up here. Ah oh, darn it, I wasted that those couple minutes. These jars are filled with string lights. They create quite the nice crime scene mood. Great. I'm glad that this is all very useful information. It's an encyclopedia by Lauren Pretz. Man, these books are dirty. Ah, the pages are filled with maple leaves. Okay, so she's a leaf presser. Let's have a look inside. A bunch of different lights. Electric lights, a lot of tea lights, other types of candles, and a few candy bars. She's a YouTuber! She's making her little fairy light wonderland. She was a beauty YouTuber. Clearly, that's what's going on here. Ooh, what's this? Find the computer. It's a calendar. Lists birthdays, waste, collection dates, hostile guests, arrival dates. The day of the murder does not have any notes. There are two entries for the near future. In four days, it lists EOS party. In five days, it lists road trip with Adam. Doesn't seem like she was planning on dying. Not sure, but this is probably the same handwriting as the one on the post-it note. Okay. Shoot, I have 30 minutes left. Let's have a look at this. It's a glass jar with maple leaves glued onto the glass from the inside. There's a tea light inside of it. I suppose it looks kind of pretty. Let's keep this one. Might come in handy next time I need a birthday present for someone. Great, you're still- wow. You Oh, wacky. So she in, she inhaled it in the, the the animation, which is wild. This is this is wacky. Okay, she's got all her lantern. It's a bit weird that this is where we store evidence, but sure. Cool. Cool story, bro. Let's see the waste paper basket. So she's either a YouTuber, like a beauty fashion YouTuber, who's creating her like twinkle light set, or... She works on Etsy, creating these lanterns. Clearly, those are the only two possibilities. Look at that, a handwritten note. It reads, don't test me, girly. Pay up by the end of the week or else. It ends with dot, dot, dot. Ominous. The handwriting on here doesn't match with the handwriting on the post-it note. Let's keep this, all right? Inhale it, Linda. Yeah, there you go. It's a small workshop table with a cutting mat. There are various knives and scissors lying around, along with a bunch of maple leaves. Okay, so really, really I'm just learning a lot about her business, her, her Etsy business, let's be honest. The glass front of the frame is holding actual maple leaves in their place. Seems like a random arrangement of leaves to me. Okay, well, great. It's a painting of the sky on a stormy night. I like it. It's simple, but full of expression. Great, well that was not useful in the slightest. Uh, I have eight minutes left. Let's go through this series of boxes. A huge pile of cardboard boxes. At first glance, I can see a few bowls, some Christmas decorations, a tennis racket, and three vacuum flasks. Going through all these boxes would take me quite a while. I could do it some other time. Should I do it now? No. 45 minutes. Yeah, that's not worth it. So should I finish inspection? Okay. Left click on a person to open the interaction menu. Here you can pick one of three actions. Question, mind surf, and rest. All of these actions will cost you time. 
Later you'll be able to choose from all three actions. Do them in any order. For now, please choose question. Okay. <laughs> no! No, don't do these. These are bad. These are wrong. Question Kenneth. I don't have a half hour. What happens when time goes up? So do your thing, Officer Kenneth. Farley. What? Well, your thing. Tell me what happened. You're in charge here, yes? Oh, yes. Yes, I'm in charge. The chief is on vacation, so now I'm... Uh, so now I'm in charge here, yes. So, uh... Doing the thing! The body is... A girl who lives here. Uh... This is her house. Her name is... Uh, was... Rebecca Goodman. Her... A housemate found her last night at 1 a.m., and I arrived here at 2 a.m. As I said, it takes quite a while to get here from town. Uh, the housemate said that she was still alive at 8 p.m. when he left the house. If that's true, somebody probably broke into the house during that time and surprised her. The forensic scientist that they sent hasn't arrived yet, so apart from the housemate and myself, nobody entered the crime scene. Where's the housemate now? Whereas, I love how every time he's going to ask a question, he just winds up by quaffing his hair back. And the wind up, and here's the question. Where's that housemate now? Staying in the hostel. I told him to take a bed there until things are resolved. They're in charge of the hostel anyway. Well, Rebecca was in charge, I think. Adam is usually running the bar. Uh, we know his name is Adam, but I, I want to learn more about Adam. He's, he's kind of suspect number one, right? Uh, so I'm going to follow up with Adam. His name is Adam. Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Adam Gray, I think. I noticed the floor next to the body is wet. Did she have any enemies? Did she have any enemies? I feel like he's not gonna, like, this guy's kind of a doof. He doesn't know anything about the wet floor, right? Any enemies? Did she have any enemies you might know of? I come here relatively often, so I know everyone who lives here by name, but uh, I don't really know anyone. I uh, look, look at that mustache twirl. Oh, rub that stash. I've never witnessed anything but peaceful behavior. Uh, if she was in a relationship with someone, or uh, do you know what an EOS party is? So the EOS party, I don't think really mattered. I think it's more a relationship, right? Do you know if she was in a relationship with somebody? No idea. Okay. Any witnesses? Probably not. If I had any witnesses, I would have told you by now. Feel free to ask the neighbors if you if they hear anything. You haven't done that yet? I've told you I don't exactly have a big team on hand. I spend my whole day at my the mother's house trying to explain to her that her daughter has been killed. I don't think she got the message. What about the dad? And what about the dad? Her father doesn't speak. He's in a wheelchair and his wife takes care of him. She, however, I think she lives in her own world now. After the basic questioning is over, you can choose to discuss other topics you found. This will cost time every time you do it. The stop talking option will end the questioning completely. You can return to this once you've found new information, but you'll have to pay the time cost of initiating the question again. Huh, the questioning. This is, this is really interesting. This is a really, this is really interesting. I'm out of time. Huh. Okay. Now please choose Mind Surf from the interaction menu. If your Mind Surf is successful, you'll be able to look into the suspect's mind. You can use this to collect additional information, but not everything you'll see will be relevant to the case. Huh. And see, are you done? Justine will be mad if we wait, let her wait for wee hours. Or for hours. Justine is always mad, besides she's getting paid for waiting. Let's just come back tomorrow. It's late. Your time ran out. Normally, this would automatically end your current day, but you haven't finished the introduction. <laughs> Sorry. So you'll get some extra time to do that. Two hours was not a lot of time to, to do all this. And the fact that it took me 45 minutes to enter the doorway was a bit brutal. So you get some extra time to do that. You can't spend this extra time on inspecting the crime scene. If you want to inspect the crime scene more thoroughly, you can come back tomorrow. Okay. I'll wrap things up. There's one thing I need to do still. Mind surf! I need to mind surf Kenneth. Oh, I've got an hour and 38 again. Great. Give me that bonus time. Trippin! Oh, wow. They're looking deep into each other's eyes. They love each other. Whoa! What? What is this? Welcome to Mindsurf Minigame. On the bottom of the screen, you can see the mind cop surfing the brain waves. He'll slowly make his way to the finish line on the right. Meanwhile, the ejection counter will count down to zero. 
Once it's at zero, the defense mechanism of the target's mind will activate and immediately eject you from their head. Your goal is to delay the ejection counter until the mind cap can reach the finish line. Which is by doing what? Your mind bullets. Ah! Ah! The, uh, obviously, the mind bullets will attack the brain from three sides and can appear in one of a total of nine lanes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. If the mind bullet hits the brain on a side that matches its color, it will drill into the, the brain, delaying the defense mechanism of the mind. This will add time to the counter and let you finish your mind trip. Okay. So where are my mind bullets? Blue, yes, fire, fire that. Can I... If a mind bullet hits the brain on a side that it doesn't match, it'll become a block. Blocks are in your way, but you can get rid of them by matching three or more blocks with the same color. Okay. Okay. They have to be in a line vertically or diagonally or horizontally for this to work, but you'll be rewarded with a much bigger delay of the counter if, your mind, if you use your mind bullets this way. So you want your mind bullets to kind of block, and then you play basically the matching game. You play kind of, what is that, uh, Puyo Puyo or whatever? Okay. Bubble Bobble. Okay, so this is... I don't know why they stutter. So it, it stutters like Tetris? Okay. Left, press left mouse and right mouse to rotate the brain. You rotate your blocks into the brain waves on the bottom. You rotate your blocks, okay, into the brain waves. They'll be removed. Okay. You use this to get rid of some blocks, but this will not work on the first row of blocks since they don't reach down into the waves. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Okay, so that's blue, so I want blue on a side that it doesn't match, according to what they've been telling me. Great. Purple. So we want this there. There. Okay. What is that? I don't know what that rotational thing was. Oh, this is wacky. Okay. Oof. This, this is... Okay, this is complicated. This is legitimately very complicated. If at any time your mind surf, seven or more blocks are on the brain, time will slow down. This will make it easier for you to match the blocks with other blocks of the same color. But there are huge disadvantages to this state. While time is slowed down, uh, the ejection counter will not slow down. This means that you don't want to stay in slow down. Simply keep the number of blocks under seven. Jeez. Okay. Great. So it should one, two, three, four. Okay. Here, I'm just gonna eliminate these two. Great. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Blue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Jesus, this is so complicated. Uh oh, seven. Wow, this is really hard. This is really, really complicated. Okay, I see, I've got way too many mind blocks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th wow! This is really tough. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, wipe away my blocks, wipe away my blocks. Mind surf! Mind surf faster, man! Okay, jeez. Wacky! That's a really tricky puzzle game, actually. That forces you to really figure out how that whole thing works. Uh, and the, like, 3D, not the 3D, but the two-dimensional spatial reasoning of where things are going to land as you're rotating them is actually really complicated to keep track of. That's hard. That's one that'll take a lot of getting used to. Welcome to Sea of Thoughts. The three doors are your window into the person's mind. They can show you memories, thoughts, dreams, or even abstract visualizations of emotions. Truth door shows something that is, at its core, a truth about the person. The lies door lies to you. It'll always show you something that isn't true. The uncertainty door can either behave like another truth door or like another lies door. Which one it is will vary from person to person. And can I inspect all three? Truth. Let's start with let's start with the easy one. Let's start with truth. So he walks in. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so he sees someone who's dead. And he walks in. Okay. So Rebecca. 
So and there's already footprints in the blood, right? So that tells us that he is not the person who did it, presumably. Did he pee himself? He probably peed himself. Is that why it's what? Oh, he puked. That's it. Oh, gross. <laughs> do 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 do. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. That's fine. Just, just casually, casually puking up here. I should clean this up, right? New topic, Kenneth. Kenneth trows, trows up. Idiot, there are a bunch of footprints in the blood. Let's see. The victim is wearing socks, but there are also shoe sole prints. They aren't small, they're more likely to be men's shoes. The print's shape isn't really all that helpful. It could be hiking shoes or maybe rubber shoes or simply running shoes. I'm honestly not an expert on shoe soles. Anyway, I should memorize these prints. Someone other than the victim walked through the blood and left these prints on their shoes. Okay, footprints in the blood, great. Anything else I need to know about or do I just go back now? Okay, go back. Huh, weird. This has got a lot of interesting mechanics. It's, it's complicated. There's a lot going on and I think like that's the one thing I might knock against this right now is that there's a lot of mechanisms to keep track of. Like, I think, but that being said, like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just, you know, it's, it's one that there's a steep learning curve, I feel like, to this game. Who are you? Who, me? I'm the killer! What? Oh, yes, I am the one. The one who killed that poor girl! Oh, what a tragedy. Oops. No, I've told you. No, I'm done for. Game over. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do to me? It seems to me that you're shaking in fear. Shut up. Are you going to do anything? Is there anything you can do? Do something. Arrest me. Why? Hello. Oh man, I've got some Franbo action going on right here. It was worth noting though that the shadow had like kind of a goofy hat on. Like you could see like kind of a flat top hat in that shadow. Help me please. Hello. Why are you talking to me? I'm not a person. So it is not true that he saw the killer. That is a lie. But the undeniable truth about the person. Oh, that's uncertainty. Oh, that's uncertain. So it's uncertain whether or not he saw the killer. Doesn't seem like he did, but. And then this is the lie. So he, it's a lie that he's a fan of Mind Cop? Cause he's practicing, he's practicing the hair point! Oh, $25 for a t uh, commemorative t-shirt, that's very exciting. Mind Cop, Cop fan club. You there! Nice Mind Cop costume you got going on there. Now you need to practice your moves! Boom! I got it. Nailed it. I'm very good at that move. What's going on? Wanna take a pic with me? Hello, good man. Welcome to the annual Mind Cop fan club meeting. Interested in buying a Mind Cop fan, Mind Cop fan shirt? So you guys all really like the Mind Cop? Yeah, man. You don't have to be shy. Not here. Here, we're all united in our fandom. Okay, I'm getting the gist of it. Sharing our love with the man that we idolize. Chatting about all the cool things he does. Buying neat fan shirts for only 25 bucks. That's what this is all about. Okay, cool. Bye. So, this tell because it's in the lie room, this tells me he's not a fan. Like, is it a lie that he's a fan of Mind Cop? Or is it a lie that, like, he just really doesn't like me? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, the, the fact that it's a lie could be anything from, like, it's a small lie to there was never a convention like this to a big lie of... It's actually the complete opposite of that, and instead of being a super fan, he just is a big hater of Mind Cop. Huh. Weird. Upgrade your mind bullets. Choose a color to upgrade. Bullets of this color will be more effective. Uh, I didn't see any yellows. I'm, I saw a lot of blues. I think we upgrade blue. Weird. Okay, so this is completed. So we hacked his mind. 
So we can question him now about the new things, I'm assuming. Although it, it's really costly to initiate the conversation, right? Talk about your stuff. Talk about a topic. Talk about the footprints. I found footprints near the victim. They look like this. Wait, footprints? Where did you find those? As I said, near the victim. Are they yours? Uh, no. No, definitely not mine. Maybe from Adam. Maybe they're from the killer. Come on. Maybe they're from the killer. Oh, yeah, maybe. So, wow, each of these is costing time. Talk about your stuff. Let's talk about how you threw up all over the crime scene and then cleaned everything up. I've seen many officers tossing their cookies over actual old and rotting corpses, but this is ridiculous. Wow. She the blood! Still, that's not the worst part of this. The worst part is that you decide to clean up all the crime scene. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mess with the evidence, I swear. I just cleaned up. Just cleaned up the puke. You're wrong about that. Also, don't act like this is just a minor mistake. So the footprints you told me about. Okay. Honestly, don't know if I can work with an amateur like you. Anything else you might want to tell me? No, no, listen, I know, I know I screwed it up. I told you about everything else. I did. Look, can you maybe keep quiet about this? Um, Kenneth, you're an officer of the law. Take responsibility for your actions. I'm not here to lose, have anyone lose their job. I'm here to find a killer. Make sure you tell me everything from now on. I think this is the sort of guy that won't respond to oh, being hard on him. I think it's like, show that you're a friend. I'm not here to help anyone lose their job. I'm here to find a killer. Tell me everything. So I don't want to really talk about the stuff. Am I done here? I think we're done? I don't feel like he's going to do a lot for me at this point. One hour later at the police station in the nearest town. This is interesting. This is a very interesting game. It's very unique. You must be that mine cop, fella. Pleasure to meet ya. I'm Amelia. With the big boss gone, I'm currently the one running things in here. It's my pleasure to meet you, Amelia. I'm the mine cop, and the lady sitting over there is my partner, Linda. Look, I'm, I'm sure you hope, hope for a bigger station, but this station is actually overstaffed considering how small and quiet it is in Thymily. Probably shouldn't have clicked that one so fast so I could figure out how to say the name. Anyway, if there's anything you need from us, just ask me. And if you need to arrest someone, feel free to use our cell. Great. Cell is in one cell, singular. Uh, yeah, there's only the cell. What are you guys gonna do? What are you guys doing when you have to arrest someone, but there's already someone in the cell? Well, that never happens. And in the rare case it does happen, we simply release the person already in the cell. I mean, we're talking about people who drank a little too much, not murderers. Well, maybe now we should be talking about murderers. Let's just hope that there's only one murder in the books. It's usually one guy who ends up being the mastermind behind everything in the books. Linda, this lady's voice. What color is it? Uh, pink. I am pink. The color of affection and care. Amelia, would you describe yourself as a particularly kind and caring person? Nope. Weird. The, the voice color stuff is very strange. Let's talk to Linda. Recap time. What's your feeling about all this? I don't know. She's pretty. The victim. Not the type you'd expect to get murdered in her own home. Really, what kind of murder would be more fitting with her type then? I don't know. Vanishing without a sign and being found dead in the woods years after? Okay, and you say I'm the morbid one. We're getting sidetracked. Either somebody broke into her home, I'm, I know I'm switching voices, broke into her home or she knew the murderer and let him in. I can think of at least one possible scenario. Let's not focus on conclusions like that yet. Tell me, what do you think about Kenneth? I didn't like him. Why? I didn't like, I don't like it when people constantly give off the vibe that they'd rather be somewhere else. Especially when they're entrusted with others, by others to do really important tasks like that. Don't I give off that vibe too? No, I don't think so. You love this job, and I think everyone can see that. You know it. What about you? You totally give off this vibe, don't you? What? How? Well, you generally seem uninterested, and most of the time you're preoccupied by doing stuff on your phone. I'm not doing stuff on my phone. I'm doing research and fact-checking. Also, I'm not into uninterested at all. I love this job. I guess if that doesn't show, I might have to work on that. Speaking of loving this job, anything you want me to work on tonight? 
Oh, wow, geez. Enjoy your time off. General research on Maryland Crater Camp, sure. All right, consider it done. Do you want to do some mind surf training? Sure, let's do one more. Okay, one second. I love that she has to like open up her bangs because her bangs are so long in order to mind surf in her. Huh. Wild, this is wild. This is a wild game. This is really, really interesting. Okay. So I'm gonna stack the blue. Okay. Okay, that's good. There. Oh, that's stupid of me. Okay, that I got bonus points for those. That's fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, poop. Okay, here. Nope. Nope. Oh, poop. Oh, no. Okay, I need, I need a yellow. Oh, shoot. Oh, poop. I need a yellow real bad. Shoot, what about the blue at the top? Okay, wipe it off. There we go. That makes sense. Middle. Middle. Okay. Nope, that was stupid. Oh, that was so dumb. So many dumb moves. So many dumb moves in such a short amount of time. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to aim for the middle here. There we go. Give me a yellow. And that knocks that one out, which then puts blue here. Which then I, I can do blue there, I guess. Blue, blue, blue. That'll knock out that blue, that'll knock out that one, and this will give me more time there. Whoo, this is tough. This is, oh shoot, that was dumb, that was dumb. Oh, diag, oh, diagonal. Diagonal's weird. Diagonal's a very odd one. There you go. Knock you there. Great, we mind surfed. Whoo! Crazy weird. Yeah, I forgot the diagonals are an option too. That's good to know. So can I can I surf your mind, Linda? Do you secretly have affections for me? The mind cop? Or no, you're not gonna let me through. Sorry if that was too easy, MC. We're done for today. End of the line. No, not my cool shade! I was looking so cool. Huh. So I was wrong about the platformer style things. Sorry. Great, that was good. Thanks, Linda. We can do another session tomorrow. All right, so I guess we're done. It's time to go to the hotel and call it a day. Yes. Okay, Linda, I'm gonna go to the hotel. See you tomorrow. End of demo. You've reached the end of my demo. Of course, this was only the prologue to the final game. If you enjoyed your time, make sure to check out my social media. Love to hear any kind of feedback, so send it over. Thank you for playing. Mind cop. Interesting. Huh. This is really interesting. I am intrigued. Uh, like I said, there's a lot. And I think the puzzle mechanic with the, uh, with the, the mind surf it's a it's a lot um i can't decide if it overcomplicates it or not like if it's just like oh this is just an extraneous thing on what's otherwise a pretty cool investigation game you know cuz cuz alone the cost benefit of choosing how to spend your time i think is a really compelling gameplay system right where there's not enough time in a day to look at every piece of evidence, talk to every person, ask every question, right? Like that is a fundamental kind of departure from almost every other investigation game out there in a lot of ways, uh, where you just kind of wander around to your heart's content to explore everything, gather everything, and then it's like, like there's no give and take of like, I need to prioritize looking at this and not this. And so the idea of having a game built around that mechanic of time being a limited resource is really cool I like that. And so then to also throw in the like kind of Tetris style gameplay or like columns or whatever, um, it, it's a very extreme departure from what the core of the game is, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It, it keeps it interesting, but I, I don't know if I like it or not, right? Um, 
It's also the, and I, I wish I could see more of the like truth, lie, uncertainty gameplay and how that plays out. Because that's another weird one, right? Where I'm not sure, I, I, I like that. Like that to me actually fits more with the investigation angle of this game, right? Of like, you're going to see a truth, you're going to see a lie, and you're going to see something that might be a mix of both or might be one or the other. And I think that's also very cool and it fits with investigation. And so... Like, definitely keep that in. It's it's just that, like, gating it to get there with that, like, mind surf thing that I'm not sure about. Um, it's interesting. I like it. I'm very, very curious about the use of color in this game, right? Because even on the title screen right now, you see that, like, it slowly started to glow more and more and more red. Um, the whole game has this aesthetic of, like, black and white, black and white tones, but then there's, like, accents of red glows through the windows and things and him constantly asking about what color people are talking, um, that's really intriguing. Um, and I'm curious what that is all leading to, and I don't really have a good idea. It seems like he's asking people what, you know, based on what color they're talking, traits about themselves, and it doesn't seem to line up. And so I'm wondering if he uses, like if we're seeing the world through his eyes, where he, he's colorblind or just doesn't see color, and he's trying to like equate colors to the real world and he's having a hard time fully understanding like people and their relationship to color and how he does or doesn't perceive the world. It's, it's just a really interesting detail that is maybe the most interesting thing to me coming out of this demo. I'm, I want to know where that's headed to. So yeah, it's, it's cool. I like it. It's very interesting. Um, like I said, a lot of mechanics, a lot to wrap your head around, but I think, and, and a very interesting art style, very interesting, like, characterization, the idea that, you know, when you collect stuff, your partner, like, swallows it, kind of, but then it's in her, like, in the animation, but then it's in her code, like, that's just wacky, it's just a wacky world that seems like a lot of thought's been put into it, so overall, I'm, I'm intrigued, I'm curious where this one goes to from here, uh, I hope, you know, it's a project that continues forward. I hope there's a lot of success with it. I will keep an eye out for it. Uh, so let me know what you thought. Um, obviously, this was my first impressions of it. Like I said at the beginning, definitely not a platformer uh, like I thought it was. Um, side scroll, I think side scrolling 2D. Uh, I need to pay more attention to all the qualifiers that Matt tells me when he describes the games. Um, but yeah, very, very interesting. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Who killed the the beautiful Rebecca? Oh, and, you know, whether or not you liked Kenneth. All right? That's it, friends. At this point, Ali is most certainly about to get up in like five to ten minutes. I have no doubt. So I'm going to run uh, up the stairs and wait for him and maybe fire off another email. But in the meantime, thank you for spending this time with me. Thank you for filling my Ali nap time with a lot of enjoyment. And I'll see you all in the next video, which... I'll record during another nap time. And in the meantime, have a great day. This wasn't a stream. It wasn't a live stream. But it was me live on the couch hanging out with you. And I appreciated it. Thanks so much, guys. Mm.